Here's a production trick that you can use with your MIDI chords or melodies. Let me show you first how it sounded before. So I got some chords going. And here's the after. So yeah, it's basically grabbing the chords from here reversing each of them, maintaining the timing, and you get this really nice swell effect on all of your chords while maintaining the melody or chord that you have. And it's super simple to do, it's just four steps I believe. Let's start from scratch and just only show this track right here. Okay, so now we got the chords or melody, whatever you have in MIDI, and then you're gonna duplicate that track, you're gonna right click the track, select duplicate track, and now you get this, right? So this track, let's actually color it different, like this. Um, double click to open it, select your MIDI notes, and then go to the actions menu in here, and type reverse, events, event, reverse, oh, make sure you're in the MIDI editor section, reverse events, well, we can say reverse all events, so yeah, you get that. Now you can close the MIDI editor. Next, you're gonna right click your now reverse MIDI item and select apply track take effects to items as new take. So it's gonna do that, you wait for it. And lastly, just go to the actions menu, reverse uh, take. You can set a shortcut to this, by the way. I have this on command R. So I'm gonna hit command R, that's gonna reverse the take. And this is a... Re You can also combine these two. You get like this super washy sound. But yeah, that's it. Hope that helps and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.